Curb Street. All right, thank you for the update, Kevin. Appreciate it. And the Seminoles will kick this away to get the second half going. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the recovered team able to bring him down. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Play action here on first down. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Running with purpose. Brought down at the 28, and that's good enough for a first down. Stanford comes to the line quickly here. To throw, it's Saiyan. Nice catch made along the sideline. He does just get the foot down. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving his defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can... The catch is made for a huge pickup. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. The Stanford offense is moving quickly down the field. Hand off to the back. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Offense in hurry up mode. Handoff from the shotgun. I tried to use this stiff arm there, but the defense corrals him quickly. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Defense is coming after him. The sure hands. It's Orgy. And they pick up the first out of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. The offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Sanford has moved into the red zone. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Oh, and he flat dropped it. He's going to bring up third down for this offense. Now here's an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't quite have the concentration or the focus necessary. Ends up dropping it before he can bring it in. Running back has it on a screen now. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. Tight end goes in motion. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Offense threatening, close to the goal line with a new set of downs. Easy. Go. Go. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Cardinal. This offense really clicking. Methodical but effective third. Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in the conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. And he fires the football to the right side. 
fired into a tight window and picked off. Jukes to get past a man. And he steps out of bounds, a solid return, and a great play to set up his offense here. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short game or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Offense now in the all-important red zone. To throw, it's saying. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. He was on target the first time. Can he keep it going from 33 yards out? And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. The turn starts from inside. Get some blocks. Still going. It's a foot race. All the way for a touchdown. A kick return all the way for a touchdown with a conference title on the line. He's never going to forget that. Yeah, he'll never forget this. You're right. Conference championship. Huge stage. Everybody's watching. Great blocks up front to get him started. And then it was just raw speed and instincts to take it to the house. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Good job dealing with the footing. The PAT is good. Here's the kickoff team now. He's set to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. Makes it with the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Cardinal offense is back out there on the field. Difficult to win games kicking field goals. To cut into this lead, they got to find the end zone. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Quick throw, the catch is made. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. That's just what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Or the quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw on the quick slant, gets some really good yards. Second down after that run in the previous play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Urgency now for the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Looking downfield, it's Saiyan. And that is interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. They tackle him after a short return, but they get the football back and set up shot near midfield. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. Let's see how this quarterback responds. Remember, an interception in the very first play of the last possession. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Looking for a gap, it's Davis. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Offense getting set, second down play here. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. The game good for just a few yards, the defense swarming to the football. 
in a jet sweep action with so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. The pass is off target. He got Kinsey through as the third down pressure works. And the Knowles will have to punt this one away. He's on to boot it away now. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Stanford offense is back out on the field. This drive is important. The last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. First down, looking to throw the ball. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And here's the handoff. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Hand it off for a draw. There's a stiff arm. He bring it down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And here comes a deep shot. Defense breaks it up. Nice play, incomplete. Boy, well, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision-making. He's going to cost himself a game. Stanford getting set for the first and ten now. Dropping back. It's Saiyan. Bringing pressure. Quick completion to the tight end. And he's stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Here comes a handoff. He shreds the tackle. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Short throw complete to the tight end. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid gain there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Stanford now operating in the red zone. On first down, it's play action. Looked over the middle, but it's incomplete. And the long march continues. Offense pushing the ball down the field. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. And the quarterback tucks it and takes off as a design run. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Caught near the sticks. It's Johnson. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. And the wideout goes in motion. First and goal. Handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. As we break for the quarter curve, Florida State is on top. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. To the air, it's Saiyan. The pocket breaking down. He's got it right near the end zone. 
And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Third and goal. Try to make it on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So they choose not to go for it here on fourth down late. Send out the field goal team. They're set up at the right hash mark, so a tricky angle here. And that one straight down the middle. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. Trying to find some room. It's Samson. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. An inside give now from the shotgun. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard. It'll be fourth down. The Seminoles will line up to punt it away. And the returner is brought down. And the Stanford offense is back out there on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle for showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, here we go again. The field goal team is out there. This kicker's already got three makes in this game. And it's good. The snap, the hold, the kick, everything there. Perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. The turn begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. To the air, it's Holstein. And he finds his tight end for the catch. And the game just good enough for a first down. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. And the runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Second down, we're going to throw it. Caught over the middle, it's Gibson. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Chris, it's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. 
but instead they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. It's caught downfield. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, they want to run the football here to work the clock. But these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Second down play coming up. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not hang on for a touchdown. My goodness. It's so one fourth down. It's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. He knocks this one right through. And they add to their lead. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And the Stanford offense back out there on the field now. They've had to settle for field goals. That won't work anymore. they got to find the end zone this time. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Gives it to the back. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Second down. Back to throw. It's Saiyan. It's a short completion of the tight end. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. The guys up front line up. It's first down. From the shotgun, drops back. Grab near the sticks. It's Johnson. They stop him at the 37, but that's enough for a first down. Stanford comes to the line quickly here. Hey, it's a nice game here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of bounds as often as they can to preserve that clock to give them a real shot to come back to win it. Stanford getting set with a first and ten coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Fires it to the wideout. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability of getting them the ball in space. Like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the mark. Looking to pass here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. And he's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Back to the end zone, he could not get his foot down. It's incomplete. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game, you need points, you're behind, you got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Caught over the middle, it's Johnson. 
tackled after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Caught near the goal line. And it'll be stopped just short of the end zone at the one. Second down and goal upcoming. Dropping back. It's Saiyan. Looking to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. Pass midfield. At the 30 now. At the 10. He's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown, Florida State. Well, it's just something freeing when you have this kind of lead and you can just turn the defense loose. Getting aggressive pays off for him here. They get the interception. And what athletic ability there to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. And they get set now to try the BAT. Extra point up and good. A 19-point lead now here in the final quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Cardinal offense back out there on the field. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly mistake last time. A pick six. And he dumps it off to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. Stanford comes to the line quickly here. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. It's an out route, the catch made. Moves the ball out across the 30, and it's good for a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back to pass. It's Saiyan. Checks this down to the running back. Tackle's made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Short connection to the tight end here. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. Play fake, he'll look to throw it. Grab down the middle, it's Orgy. And they tackle him, but not before a huge game down near the 26. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Looking to throw yet again. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the cornerback gets him. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he scores. Touchdown, Stanford. Man, I love this. Chris, I don't think they're going to have a chance to come all the way back. But here we are, under two minutes to go. And they continue to show some fight. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe you cover an onside kick and you get right back in it. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. The last possession produced a field goal, but more importantly, it milked the clock. And they do that again. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Fights through the tackle. He's got it now inside the 15. Worked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. I love how they're using the receiver here in motion. With a weapon like this, just get him the football. Simple throw for the quarterback. He's got all that speed built up. You get him the ball out there in space with a couple blockers, and you get big plays like this. Touchdown, Knowles. This offense cannot be stopped. A 
there's another strike for this quarterback, but he is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against this secondary. Let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open, and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Stanford offense will take over. And the Stanford offense is back out on the field. This thing is so out of hand. All you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Back to pass. It's Saiyan. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. It's a bit of a risk. But with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. He's got it. A fourth down conversion. Drive stays alive. And the offense will spend a timeout and stop the clock. 21 seconds remaining. Stanford getting set for the first and 10 now. Pressure is coming. And the freshman making an impact play there. And this offense faces a second and 15. The O-line needs to regroup. Now he just comes up and spikes it to stop the clock. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Quarterback drops back. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And that pass is incomplete, trying for an oh-by-the-way touchdown, but it's no good. Time expires. What a special year and a moment these players will never forget. After all they put into this, they can now call themselves champions of the ACC. With the playoff spot locked up, we're going to find out where they're going to be playing as they pursue now a national championship. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.